Good evening, everybody. Welcome to your Tuesday evening Facebook Live. My name is Sarah Edwards. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and I come to you guys live every Tuesday and Thursday at 7 to show you a fun new project. So hopefully you guys had a great day. If you were working, if you were working in your craft room, if you're cleaning house, I'm so sorry. That's never fun, but it's a necessity. We did ours on Sunday, so ours is clean. But it, whatever you did today, hopefully you guys had a great day doing it. I spent 99.999% .999 of my day out in the studio. I have officially completed all of the designs for card class on Saturday, and I have all but one left to prep. Um, my last card I was struggling with for some reason. I'm doing some fun folds, some fun and fancy folds, and I was struggling on the last one. I knew what paper I wanted to use, and I knew what stamps that I wanted to use, but I couldn't figure out how to make it a fun fold, and then it finally came to me, and I officially have it done, so now I just have to prep it. Tomorrow is Valentine's Day, and it's my husband's birthday, so I won't be out in the craft room at all. We're going to go to breakfast, and then I have to go to work after. So Thursday, hopefully, I'll get everything prepped and cleaned. It's a little bit of a hot mess in my craft room, but it's a good thing that you can only see the pretty walls behind me and not everything else that's below me or in my studio. But anyway, welcome, Heather. Thanks for joining so today's project, oh, I should probably go back to card class on Saturday. I checked before I went live and I have three spots left. So any of the times, so I have eight o'clock, 1130, the pajama class or the to-go option. There's three spots left. So um, if you want one, definitely send me a message or hit the RSVP button. It won't lock you out after three, so hopefully I don't get a million because then I just have to start prepping more. Anyway, um, but we are using all of the new online exclusives that are not available until March 1st, but they are fabulous. I literally cannot stop creating with them. So next week, I am going to focus on one of the sets for both my Tuesday and Thursday live. And I'm going to show you what that set looks like when I point you guys down because it's pretty phenomenal. So fun. Um, that was that. And then I was going to say something else before I went back. I don't remember. Anyway, let's point you over so we can get crafting. I know you guys don't log on to listen to me chit chat. You want to start crafting. For some reason, I feel like my lighting is a little bit dark. I did clean my lightings, all my lights and stuff before I went live. Let's see if I can get this to focus. If not, maybe it's, hopefully it's not gonna stay blurry. Let me look on my iPad. That will help a little bit. Okay, so let's show you. Okay, let's show you this first, the cutest cow. I did a impromptu video on Saturday letting you guys know that I have a couple kits left over and I actually sold out all of the extra kits that I had, but I did make a couple more. So I know a lot of you guys really enjoyed this. So if you still are interested, I do have a few kits left. Um, this is the uh, PDF. There's 16 projects in this PDF. You get all of this. You get the video showing you how to put not these cards together. You have the PDF for these ones, but um, it's a PDF on how to put together the five projects and the box that goes with it. Um, you can add on the punch if you want. It does come with the stamp set, but if you just want the stamp set, you can definitely fussy cut the cows out if you would like. So I did prep a couple more, so I have some left. Okay, now it's focused. Okay, perfect, good. So there's that. Let me show you one of the online exclusives. It's called Filled with Fun. It is so stinking cute. We are using this in card class on Saturday. It has the adorable wagon. You can put the birthday cake on top of the wagon. You can put the flowers and it says sending loads of happiness. You make my heart bloom, sending some, celebrating something special, Whew, read first. 
and then it has the coordinating dies. I have die cut my little heart out the last couple days. So, oh, the wagon must still be in the craft room. But it has a wagon. This goes over it. You have the wheels. You have the hubcaps. It is a phenomenal set. This cuts out the flowers. This one cuts out the birthday cake. So stinking fun. It is not available yet until the 1st, but I wanted to showcase it next week because if you like it, get it while you can because I am afraid some of these are definitely going to go on back order. So that's the set we're going to be focusing on next week. Let's bring in what we're going to be doing for tonight. So I brought in the Be Mine 12 by 12 designer series paper. Tomorrow is Valentine's Day. But if you don't have the paper, if you don't have the stamp set, I wanted to show you an alternative version to doing a Happy Valentine's Day card, but it's using the same designer series paper. So the paper itself has hearts and stuff on it, but I don't think it screams Valentine's Day. Besides this one, and it might not even scream Valentine's Day, it could just scream love. So this paper is totally versatile. I have used a ton of it. I don't know, probably 10 or 15 packs of this I've used already. So that's all I have left over. I probably have enough to do another card class out of it. Um, let's see. Good evening, Darlene. Welcome. So here is the card we're going to do tonight. So I did do this one as a happy Valentine's Day. And I really struggled on even putting a sentiment on the front of it because the paper is so stinking fun and cute. I almost didn't, but I was like, you know what? It's Valentine's Day tomorrow. We're going to use that. And then you can write your sentiment on the inside. So it's a cute, fun little card. And at first I tried to put my sentiment up top. I don't know if you can see that I had to peel it off and then try to rub all the glue off. <laughs> But don't put it up here because you're not going to be able to open your card. Lesson learned the hard way. Okay, so that's what we're going to be playing with. But I'm going to change up the sentiment for um, the couple cards we're going to be making. I'm trying to grab just what I need. And I feel like everything is trying to come with it. There we go. Okay, so what we're going to start with is a piece of Daffodil Delight. And this is four and a quarter by five and a half. So it is a little bit different than what we usually do. So this is four and a quarter by five and a half. I'm gonna set this aside and there's something, oh, there's a mini glue dot on the back. That's what kept sticking to everything. So we might use this as what we're gonna glue. Oh, man, look what I did. That's okay. I think it's still gonna be fine. And then we have a piece of our designer series paper. This is four and a quarter by five and a quarter. I'm sorry, four by five and a quarter. Hold on. No, I said that right the first time. I don't think I did. Hold that thought. See, I get myself, so it's four by five and a quarter. I was right. So four inches by five and a quarter, and this is going to layer. I've got myself all messed up because of my card base is funky. I have another piece of Daffodil Delight. This is three inches by eight inches, and I scored it right in half at four. So you can take that, give it a good crease. And then my designer series paper and my basic white are the same size. So this is two and three fourths by three and three fourths. And this is just going to get layered even though that's gonna go on the inside. So it's a super easy card to put together and it's actually a fun fold, which I wasn't anticipating to do a fun fold for my live. It just happened to work out that way. And then after I finished card class fun fold, I did this one and I was like, oh, we should have just done this one for card class. But silly me didn't. So I'm just gluing our designer series paper down to our card base, which is just our one sheet. I'm just gonna flip this over, which you really don't have to. It's the same on both sides. I do that all the time. I have no idea why. 
we're going to put adhesive just on one side. And that is going to go in the center. Just because it's a little bit thicker, I'm just going to press that down. Just hold it down for a hot second. Put our piece of basic white on the inside. While that dries, even though it doesn't need that long to dry, I just realized that I left my ink sitting on my table. Actually, I was cleaning up before the live, so I bet I put my ink away, and guess what? I did not, so I wonder if it is on my Facebook Live. I'm just gonna grab my other one just to be safe. And, oh, it is, it's right beside me. It was here the entire time, silly me. Okay, that is nice and dry. Let's glue this piece down. There we go. This is why I was saying, I don't know if it really needs a sentiment on the front of it. Like, I think it is so stinking cute just like that. So on this one, I did the Happy Valentine's Day. I just cut a little smidgen of a piece of white and a little smidgen of our basic black. And I brought in the Sentiment um, Park stamp set. And I really like how tiny this happy birthday is. I was like, if it needs anything, it needs a super itty bitty sentiment. So I am just gonna ink up the happy birthday with the ink pad that was sitting beside me the entire time. I was prepared. So let's see if I can do this. Okay, that looks pretty good. And I brought in my handy dandy banner. I love this guy and I'm so sad he's retired. I wish they would have kept it but I still use it because it's fast and it's easy and it gives me precise um, banners. So now I'm gonna put some adhesive on the back and I am going to glue this to the basic black piece. And I am gonna leave a little bit of a border on both sides because now I'm gonna use this as the mask so I know what size I need to trim it. So I didn't trim my basic whites to a specific size. I just grabbed a piece of scrap and same with the black. So now it is perfect any way you use it. So you could put this on here, you could put it up top. Do not put it here because you won't be able to open your card. You could put it at the bottom. And I don't know, it just, I hate covering up all of the cuteness of the bees. But I think I might go ahead and put it right here. So it's just covering up part of the wings. I think that's where I'm gonna put it. And I glued my original one down, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and pop this one up. Take the backing off. I think I just want it right here on the corner. And I did tie some bows. I actually didn't wear my wrist guards today because I was doing up some dishes and I ran out of the house before I could put them back on. So I was able to tie a couple of those. <laughs> and just put a little bow on there. There you go. That is how simple and easy this card is. You could even just put your sentiment on the inside and leave the outside blank. I just thought he was so fun and so cute. Sometimes we, try, we overthink putting our cards together. It was probably my issue today um, is overthinking it. So I already went through all the measurements, but I'm gonna put one or two more together. I have two more beside me, so we'll see if we put them all together or not. 
cute. But I think the colors pop and it's so cute. So there's that. Let's fold, line up our edges. There we go. I'm not gonna flip it over to put adhesive on because it's the same on both sides. I have to try to remember not to do that, but it doesn't happen very often. There we go. Our other layering piece. You could use the other side of the designer series paper and put your sentiment in the center if you wanted to. But I just love these little bees. They make my heart happy. If you've gotten the bee sets, let me know. And you should send pictures of what you've created with it. I've used it a lot. Lots and lots of bees. I'm just gonna bring in this scrap from my first card because it was long enough. Bring in my ink. Stamp happy birthday. I hope I'm getting it in the center, which, oh, I didn't think I did, but it's not bad. I couldn't see that tiny piece with the glare of the lights and the camera in front of me, but it actually worked out well. Grab our scrap. This piece of basic white is, I think, an eighth of an inch under a quarter of an inch. I don't have my handy dandy ruler that tells me the specific sizes beside me. It's like an eighth of an inch under a half an inch, sorry. So it's just an itty bitty little scrap. There we go. And then a dimensional. Or two. Let's see. We could even put it right here at the bottom. And then it will hold your little flap closed. And then you could really see all of the designer series paper. And I'm gonna put my bow right above it. There we go. That actually looks kind of cute too. And it just tucks up underneath and it'll hold, help hold it close. Okay, last one. And then we'll be done. Same design. I went through the instructions on sizes in the beginning. So if you missed it, you can definitely go back. Or I do put them in the live before I go live. So it is up there as well. So I now have three birthday cards and a Valentine's Day card. And it took no time at all to put these together. There we go. I have already gotten Bo's Valentine's Day card. Actually, I combined his Valentine's Day card and his birthday card into one card. But I wrote on both sides of the card. So I wrote on the left side his birthday notes, and then the right side I did his Valentine's Day notes. So I think he'll be quite impressed with my card. I hope he is anyways. This on the inside. Perfect. Let's do our last little sentiments. And maybe if your birthday is in March, you might get one of these. I was really thinking I was going to do um, the filled with fun, the one that I showed you guys in the beginning for my March birthdays, uh, but I really like this one too. Maybe I'll do a little variety, a variety of both. So 
So just snip. Glue, layer, story of our lives, right? Snip, glue, layer. And I definitely could not make my banners by hand, one this quick and two this perfect. There we go. Flip it over, grab my dimensionals. Maybe I'll start on Thursday. Maybe I'll do a week and a half of that set. It is literally my new favorite. Besides this, this one's my favorite too. They all are. It's just absolutely gorgeous paper. It's easy to make beautiful things when you have beautiful things to start with. That should be my new logo. I love it. So there you go. Let me bring these in. So we have two, we have three birthday cards the exact same way. And we have one Valentine's Day card. So yeah, I can't even ask you which color you like best because they're all the same color. But I hope you enjoyed it. It was a pretty quick live, but it was a fun different fold. And I don't think I've done it in a while. So anyway, if you need anything, please feel free to reach out. Do remember I have a couple of extra of those cows. So if anybody's interested in having cows, let me know. If not, I will see everybody on Thursday for another live. Have an amazing Valentine's Day tomorrow and have a great night. Chat with you soon. Bye-bye.